my intuition is that the, the bird herbivore relationship is just magic. And so anything you can do to encourage that's good. How do we use sheep in a permaculture system? That is the question Joel Salatin is going to be answering for us today. A few years ago, I had the distinct honor of getting to meet Joel Salatin and sit down with him on camera and do a brief interview. We've all heard how Joel uses chickens and cattle together in a system and how the pigs and cattle work together in a system with the piggerator system. Look real closely right there. You see written across the forehead, will work for corn. <laughs> And they then seep the fermented corn in the bedding and go through it like a big aeration beater, all right, and convert it from anaerobic. And this stuff's four feet deep, okay? They convert it from anaerobic to aerobic compost. So the animals do all the work instead of $20,000 compost turners, double handling windrows, and all the sophisticated orthodoxy ways we hear about doing um, doing composting. The beauty of the animals doing the work is, you know, they don't need their oil change, they don't need spare parts. Uh, you know, what a retirement program when you're done with them, you eat them, you know, so. <laughs> and, and we're not asking them to do something they don't like to do. This is hog heaven, all right? This, is, this fully respects the pigness of the pig. Uh, and, and their unfair advantage, you and I can't do this. Okay, but the pig can, it honors the pig, and so so uh, we don't have to drive them anywhere, we don't have to steer them anywhere, they're out here doing all this work while we're out, you know, cutting wood or reading a magazine or taking a nap or whatever it is that we do, you know, they're out here doing this. But we don't often hear Joel talk about how he uses sheep and his system as a whole. So when I had this opportunity to sit down and talk with him, that was at the top of my list of questions to ask. So I asked him. And here's what he said. Birds and herbivores are a very symbiotic deal. So I'm a big believer in running birds behind any herbivore, if you possibly can. Uh, the other option with sheep, I mean, the way we've been using the small flock uh, so far is essentially like a, like a, a weed eater, like a biological weed eater. We're running around the farm buildings and the yard and little edges of fields and stuff like that. And we're using netting. Um, and they eat, you know, sheep, sheep eat a lot of things that cows won't eat. And so, you know, they eat a lot of the weeds in the brush and the, and the different things and kind of use them as a, as a bit of a, of a weed eater around the edges. Um, one, one thing that we've done is uh, use them like on permanent fence, like a boundary fence, you know, where you, you know, if you mowed it like in a hay field, you, know, you can't go right up against the fence. Um, and so we, we, we run long, thin like scallops out from the fence and let the let the sheep eat right up against the bound, you know, just to keep the, the fence line clean, those kinds of things. Internal electric fences, same thing. You you can you can, you know, do a real long, narrow, I mean narrow like, you know, ten or twelve feet wide and fifty feet long, you know, and encircle an area with, with netting. Uh, so the sheep and the sheep and netting work real, real well. And uh, Often, often we have a guard dog in there with them as well, and um, that, that's work. But you know, I, I don't know that the, the benefits of poultry behind sheep are as big as the benefits behind cows just because of their, you know, their different kind of manure. But um, uh, I just, I, I don't know that. My intuition is that the, the bird herbivore relationship is just magic. And so anything you can do to encourage that's good. That was a good answer, but it wasn't really the answer I was hoping for. I was hoping to hear how we'd have this beautiful symbiotic relationship with, say, sheep and rabbits. I don't know, anything, anything to incorporate them with all these other systems. But really what Joel is saying is there are all these uses for the sheep, but they don't have the same benefit, the same relationship with these other elements within the farm that we see elsewhere. But just because Joel Salatin didn't mention more ways to use the sheep, doesn't mean there aren't more ways. So let's hear from you guys. Leave a comment down below. What are the different ways you're stacking the functions of the behaviors of the sheep to increase your overall system? By the way, what you see on my screen over here is from Abundance Plus. This is Rooted Episode 8, which features Joel Salatin, so I thought it'd be appropriate 
visual background. If you want to see content like this with Joel Salatin plus his master class and a lot of other teaching materials that's on Abundance Plus, you can check it out in the link below. There's a coupon code too if you decide to sign up for 10% off the lifetime of your membership. Now may all of your carrots grow long and straight. May your radishes be large but not pithy. May tomato blossom and rot affect your Monsanto neighbor's tomatoes. <laughs> May the coyotes be struck blind at your pasture chickens. May the rain fall gently on your fields, the wind be always at your back, your children rise and call you blessed. And may we all make our nest a better place than we inherited.